Now, people, the police in St. James have revealed that they now have in custody a 14-year-old Irene High School student in relation to the murder of 15-year-old Raniel Plummer. The alleged assailant was handed over to the police by his parents and is now being questioned on the matter. It is expected that charges will be laid soon. Now, people, what I would love to know, you know, is what caused all of this because one is 14 and one is 15. And the 14-year-old stabbed the 15-year-old at the school gate, killing him. Eh? One stab to him heart, and he never recover. He never recover. Like, me don't know people, but something is going on with well wrong, you know. Because what them two boys could have, so what? And when you look upon Ranieli picture, him look so innocent. Him look so innocent like him can't wash her hands. Would I like to see the other little boy picture too? Trust me, people, it is very sad, you know. It is so sad. And you go here say, he never stab him for kill him. But what you do with knife at school? What you have knife at do? At school? Eh? No, come on. You're not going to butcher a house if you have knife. See, you know, you left your parents in a problem and stress. Seen and running dead and gone. For him, mother says she's dead. She can't live out this. Yo, you don't know what I'm telling you, you're telling the people. Them youth are going to school nowadays, and I don't want nobody to stab nobody and them dead. And then them say, I never stab him for kill him. You're not supposed to try to stab nobody. School pit, you're not supposed to have no knife. At this, you go wrong first. Any school pit, you catch with knife nowadays. Them fill at them up. Me, I tell a man that. Any school pit, they search and find with knife. If I even two days, them fit do in a one prison cell because them now learn. See, set an example because watcha, them now go stop, kill half them one another. See, government to know if you do something about it now, yeah. Me now lie. Me, me now go bash no parents, me now go bash no teacher. See, me now bash nobody because you can't control the youth, them, you know. You can't control what them do when you now see them. But if the government put on them foot and set some example out of them, at least they will learn and say, alright, me now want to go to prison, so me now do that. I don't want to get locked up so I don't carry a knife. Because if they search a school pitney and find him with a knife, they will lock him up for two or three days. And a school pitney don't want to go through that. They don't want to go to jail. So they will left knife at the yard. See? A knife is out of your play. Because if this boy never have a knife, Ranil would have never dead right now. And it looks like it's a long knife he have to. They can stab him straight in the heart. One stab. Like he even plan for it too. I tell you start, trust me. You know normal enough people. It no normal. When you think about them things as parents. No, come on no man. Which mother and father go on the home and hear say him picnic get stabbed and dead at school? A mad you mad man. You traumatize forever when you hear that. Nobody no wanna hear that. You see me I say, school youth, only for be more careful. But on no business. Some of them here because it's just too bad. Well bad and I say go. Right now, I have more voice notes from parents. I'm just going to play them. I'm going to hear them as time goes by. Because, trust me, a lot of parents caught up over the situation. And a full time now it stop. Because it do sound good and it don't look good. May I tell you. I'll do me no need all you. This thing hurt me so bad. Hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me, hurt me. Yeah? I mean that for it, for it, for it, for it. But I don't eat for it. I don't want the, the, book, the headline in the book is, I'm fighting today. Yeah? I know that I kill people, children. They were alone. The, the, the exam is to kill people, children. So they pass it. They pass the exam by killing people, children. They go to school and take up all the mother knife for the kitchen and go on with them. Yeah? Mother can, they, some of them mother can't even find money by bread game to go to school. We eat in the, eat in the morning. Eh? And about the boy they go to school with knife, go fight and stab up people's child. Bust people's child heart. Eh? Hmm? How do you feel? How do you feel? We you stab her, you watch the person and stab them. You don't care if you stab them in the oil. You're going to just stab her. No man, them children are use coke. They're using coke. I believe they sniffing coke here. Yeah? This thing is white. This thing no way tall, tall, tall. Nothing is so it's a guard. This thing no white. 
but I bow to her for the one child. Bow for the one child. She sent the child to school. She tell her to go to school. Don't want to feed nobody. The child will go to school and the devil going to send them wicked, dirty children there. Who's the about human child? Good morning. This is happening all over the country. Around three weeks ago, I was in the bus park at Falmouth. And I saw when a group of boys came out of the, the bus. And I saw them get around the conductor. And they were all punching the conductor until they get him down on the ground. And when they get him down on the ground, the group of boys just started to kick and stomp the conductor. I could not believe. I don't know where these boys come from. All I know is that it has a lot to do with appearance too. Because if I hear that my son is behaving like this, I would have to discipline him. And if he can't buy my, my rules, he would have to come out of my house. So sad. You have to pray and ask God to change their mindset. This affect me so bad. Can you imagine you send your son to school and you get a call that somebody stab him when you go to the hospital? That they said they stab him in his heart and they try their best and they can't do nothing for him. But we have to pray for this mother because this is so, so sad. If I felt it this way, I can't just imagine how the mother is feeling. My God, man, parents talk to no children, man. We don't care no children, the man, who can rule them. I, I got a book because in Zenko sent me a book two years ago from St. Christ, and it's part of a godly book. And when I read it, I say, my God, this is so true. He said that children, school children will be fighting in school. And school children will be fighting teachers and parents. And children will be looking in, in disagreement and then to kind of stop there. And it's coming to pass. The world already done set there. And it's coming to pass. Whatever say it. Written, it can unwritten, it come into fully fulfilling. Fulfilling, you know, no, no, I do, it don't written, so nothing better could be done. Just got to pray and ask God to cover you all children from the hands of the evil ones and the hands of the enemy. Because the devil wants to see children live good, you know, and the devil wants to see people put their life in God's hand. They want to go in and walk, hold it and mess it up and them thing there. But don't give an inch to the devil to be in all your life. I have to pray. Pray for the children then, for five children then. This is just the last days. This is just the beginning of sorrow. This is the last days. The word of God is fulfilling. We talk about wars, women of war. Nation gonna be wise up against nation. And kingdom will be against kingdom. And this is just beginning of sorrow. So let us all pray.